Well, good morning from Ashurst Lake up by uh, Flystaff, Arizona. Look at this, my friends. I'm going to be doing a little trout fishing this morning. It's been a rough week for Tammy and I again. Uh, Tammy lost her mom last Sunday. And just as we got up here, we found out the next day. And so she's busy dealing with that right now and trying to get arrangements made. And ugh, just lost her dad for four months ago. So you know, it's hard on the girl. She's taking it like a champ and uh, doing the best she can. So anyway, I'm gonna do a little fishing this morning and give her some time to herself and don't even have a dog with me today. So this is a beautiful area, beautiful. It's been raining here every evening and afternoon. Yeah, look at that. That's worth a million bucks right now. But I'm gonna go get my line in the water. See if we can't get a trout or two. What do you think? Did real well last time we are here. So I'm allowed four and we'll see if we can't get those four trout. Well, this just blows my mind. We're down on the water here fishing. But where I'm standing, all the way up to where those rocks come down, we were fishing up on those rocks two years ago when we were here. Maybe it was a year ago. And even got snagged in this tree right over there. And that's how far the water's down. Whew. Way down. Unbelievable. And you can see a great blue heron flying over there and a couple osprey over the top lots of herons and we're gonna catch a couple trout I hope get my mind off all the hustle and bustle and all the other things going on right now and I fish with uh, power bait right now and if that didn't work I'll try a lure lures working here pretty good too so it's just a really beautiful lake but man I never thought I'd see it this low here comes a heron a little closer here. I'm sure you can see that. A couple of them there. Yeah. All right. I'm going to sit down on a rock and catch a trout. I should note, too, that a couple of those birds we were looking at when I was showing the, that one heron were osprey. And there's several of them around the lake here. Four or five, six I see sometimes. And there's an osprey nest on top of a tree on the way back home. I'll stop, maybe film that if I remember. But uh, they're pretty cool too. Every now and then you'll see one dip down and grab a fish right out of the water. You know, it's kind of frustrating when you're not catching any and they get one. But we'll see how today goes. I have been lying in the water about 10 minutes. Don't have my four trout yet, but <laughs> we'll give it some time, okay? Okay, we got like three osprey out here right now. Look. I don't know how well you can see them. One, two. And if I move over here, number three up there. So when I was showing that heron off in the distance over there, most of the other birds around it were all osprey. There's four of them that I can count. And I haven't gotten a bite yet on the, we got swallows over the water too. But yeah, that's an osprey right there. There's a good view of one. Beautiful birds. Fish eating bird. Um, last time when I was here, I was doing real well with these guys right here, these little lures, little spoon. And I'm probably going to try that pretty quick because I'm not having much luck with the power bait right now. I've been sitting here a little while now and didn't even get a bump. Caught one big crawdad. <laughs> this thing's full of crawdad. I keep meaning to bring up a crawdad trap and throw a piece of bacon in it here and catch a bunch, but never quite remember to bring the stuff up. So, anyway. I'm gonna go back to fishing. Well, wouldn't you know it, not even a bite. <laughs> Jeez. I'm on my way out. A lot of people showed up there, it's pretty crowded. But it's kind of expected for this time of year and it's a real popular fishing lake. So, I don't know, may try an afternoon before we leave or uh, whatever, not sure yet. And we're still enjoying ourselves. Arizona's beautiful. You can drive just a few miles and go from desert to this. You know, and it's just absolutely gorgeous in here. 
How about that, huh? Clouds are already starting to build up for our afternoon rain showers. So there you have it. It's been a kind of a rough week. And we get by just like everybody else does. And this bumpy road, man, it's a washboard road that's on top, right on top of bedrock. They try to put gravel on it to smooth it out a little. It just doesn't work. It's washboard, all the UTVs out here just tearing it up, man. But, uh, we get hard on them out here for doing that now and just slowing them down. So there's a speed limit out here. But anyway, it's been a fun trip so far. And I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to go catch a couple grasshoppers back in the camp. I'm going to walk over to the pond right there in camp and sneak a couple trout out of there, I think. I sure like some fresh trout on this trip. And Tammy's been working all day getting stuff together uh, for the services. And I figured I'd better go back a little early and hang out with her because she needs some help with something. Maybe we'll go for a bike ride. We got a couple of those electric bikes and uh, what a blast those things are. We've been riding them around quite a bit. It's fun. So anyway, I'll talk to you in a minute. This is the road to Mormon Lake here. You know, I got a reflection of some stuff in the rest of the road. Anyway, this is the road to Mormon Lake. And when Tammy and I were coming out of here yesterday, we saw a bear, we saw a deer, we saw an elk, we saw a wolverine, we saw a moose. And now this morning, there's even more animals up here. The funny thing was, none of them were moving. <laughs> and the reason they weren't moving is, there's an archery extravaganza of some sort up here this weekend. And they're uh, off targets. And they look real, you know. It's, it's like, all those animals can't be together. There was a pronghorn, all kinds of stuff. I'll show them to you here in a little bit. It was hilarious. So anyway, I'll, I'll be back. All right, check this out. There's Bullwinkle the Moose. This blew my mind when I seen him from the road. Okay, there's an elk. We got a buffalo over here. There's a Sasquatch over there by that booth, or tent or whatever it is. If you look out there, you can see lots of deer, antelope, bighorn, and a bear right in the middle. It's hard to see, but it's out there. I tell you what, when you don't expect these to be alongside the road, it kind of Blew our mind to look down here and said, holy crap, look at all those animals. Hey, and I even got an arrow laying out here by the road. <laughs> kind of cool, things you see. But anyway, I'll show you our little camp when we get home and I'm going back there for now. Tammy's gonna make some of these little small pepper pizza type things for lunch, I'm looking forward to that. So, I'll get right back with you. Here's our camper and our little fenced yard for our chihuahuas. It's two of them, we got two more. That's a nice park. Those are electric bikes. Those things are a blast. This is a nice park. And in the afternoons you can go over here to Mormon Lake over there through, we see the last of the container trailers over there. There's elk over there almost every night. And they even have some buffalo here. I'm going to take you for a walk over and show you those buffalo before I sign off. Okay, here we are at the buffalo. Here comes Tammy on her electric bike. Da -da -da -da, I better get out of the way, I'll be flattened. Ah! Anyway, look over here. We got us some bison. Yeah, they want you real closer in this bungee cord because they get you. Good sized critters. They usually lay right over here, but we didn't get a chance to see them over here. So, anyway, that's a tour of our campground, except for the trout pond. And I'll show you the trout pond right now. Here we go. We'll follow that little fella to the trout pond. And there it is. Now, I secret here, here, I tried to catch a grasshopper. There's some pretty good trout in this pond. I might come over here this evening and give it a go. Yep, I just might. But there's people fishing in here now. So anyway, that's it for today. 
not gold hunting, but just hunting some peace and quiet and cool air. Nugget shooter out.